you see, I think if this TV thing doesn't work out, I have got another <laughs> career ahead of me. I'm with Wendy and Kevin. These two are not only artists, but they're married and they travel together, they work together. I'm gonna hand that back to you. I know I know that was really good, but I have a feeling you have a <laughs> Yes, holding brushes is very dangerous. Now Kevin I was just talking to you about the fact that this is a scene from the Maroon, the Maroon Bells, which I recognize because I just did a backpacking trip with my dad last summer where we went around them 28 miles. It was an amazing backpacking trip. So obviously something like this really is close to my heart. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have had similar experiences in the mountains. Do you do custom work? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I love to call clients. So we meet at art shows and stuff. Most of our stuff is quite large, so it's not like people actually take it away from the show, you know. But I'll be out. We'll be out hiking, or, or sometimes I go on adventures on my my motorcycle as well, like dirt biking off off the road on single tracks and I'll get on top of the world and I actually call clients it's amazing you can get a cell signal sometimes and I'll say hey man I'm just sitting here on top of the world this most beautiful thing you've ever seen and I want to paint it for you and and they're like sitting in their office in their cubicle or whatever or a CEO you know in his mahogany desk or whatever but uh, you know and, and I, I take them to that place immediately and they're they're on board with me you know and then uh, they say yeah paint that for my house in Houston or up here in Beaver Creek and uh, that's that's what we love to do is to sort of you know show people all the beauty here through our eyes and then share it with them so they can have it for a lifetime oh, and I love that you're actually sharing with us as we speak look at this Wendy's just painting away just making some beautiful clouds <laughs> over here and Wendy if people aren't in Beaver Creek today they can actually catch you in Frisco as part of a larger art show so tell us more about that that's right um, Howard Allen events is um, having their art festival Saturday and Sunday in Frisco. That's gonna be from 10 till five. So you can come on out and see everybody working on, on their art or craft. And so you not only woke up in a tent this morning oh, yeah. as an authentic <laughs> Colorado backcountry girl, oh, but yeah. you're also now creating this beautiful art. And tell us about this process. Um, well, Kevin and I work on the paintings together and we paint stylistically different. I'm more painterly and loose and will um, pretty much cover the canvas very quickly where Kevin is more analytical and um, sort of more like classically trained. And so he blends the colors together at the end of the painting to kind of give it that pop or that feeling like you can walk into the piece. And so between the two of us, you have all the fun, spontaneity of me, <laughs> and then you have all the boring, no. <laughs> the boring thinking part of Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, do you ever do anything to sabotage it at the end to really just well, yeah. get or go? We've been married almost 30 years too, so you compromise and, and learn how to make peace. But you know, we have our moments, I mean, where you really just wanna, smack somebody in the nose with a paintbrush, a big wet one, but you know, you, you think twice about it. It's important to think twice. <laughs> it, it sounds like maybe someone has gotten whacked in the face with a paintbrush before. Has that happened, Wendy? Um, oh yeah. Oh. Um, oh. Yeah, both on purpose and by accident, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm, accident, sure. Yeah, basically, when we're in the studio, you know, we like to be alone together. We're each doing our thing, and then it's only when the real, real world and the real life stuff comes in that that's where the problems come in. That's what you got to work out. But, you know, if you have something that's like your major passion and what fulfills your souls and brings you together as a couple, that's what you got to find. And you can find out more about how that works in person today in Frisco. What are the hours of the art show? Um, it starts tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock and runs till 5 and Sunday 10 to 5 also. So all weekend long, you can actually get up close and personal, find out how this dynamic works. And will you actually be continuing to paint in person? Yes, we'll be painting all weekend through the show. Um, our booth is like always a kind of danger zone because we work in oils and it takes a long time to dry, but it's really exciting for people young and old. And um, a lot of times the kids get it a lot more than the grown-ups. The kids come in and they know what paint is. You know, they've been working in it at school. So when the adults come in, they go like, oh, it's wet. I go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, oh, it'll be fun. <laughs> love it. It'll definitely be fun. So make sure to stop by again, Frisco, 10 to 5, right. all weekend long. And you can actually see these two painting in person. Take it away. Let's see more of your work. We were going to let you finish it up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want me to touch that brush again. <laughs>